I've always used console, but I want to play this game. Hope this comes game. to console. So why is this, this not on console? This game would be amazing on console. Console when? This seems to be the this time. This game would obviously be good on console. console. Oh, console? console? Maybe the game will be console. out on the screen. Please come to console. This is console. 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 I don't even play console. What's up, everybody? Do right back at it again with another video. So there has been a lot of people that have been asking me on almost every video on almost every particular game that I freaking cover on the channel is when is this name game here coming to console? Like every time on my videos, there's always a bunch of people that are like, yo, is this game going to come to console? Is this game going to come to console? How come console doesn't have any tactical games? Well, if you're someone that's on console, here is your chance to actually get some games that I play here on my PC. Yes, for those of you that don't know, two new games are coming to the console. Well, I mean, the tech technically not new they've been out for a while now but now they're coming to console so technically they are new to console players but anyways we got insurgency sandstorm and hell let loose two very solid games that i definitely recommend that you get if you're someone that's like not into any game that's like currently on console or want to play games that are close to the games that i play i want to make that clear before i go into a bit of a rant because i don't necessarily hate the games but i do have issues with them you know because i honestly feel like these games are kind of dumbed down because they're going to console again i'm not saying that they're bad games i'm just saying Saying that they don't feel as tactical as they used to be, you know, or as they were going to be, or as they could have been. And what do I mean by that? Well, when Insurgency Sandstorm launched, I was expecting the game to be bigger and better than its previous iteration. I was expecting it to have like way more game modes, way more maps, way more updates. And what we got was just really a downgrade, to be honest, and a step in the wrong direction with adding game modes like TDM, Domination, and a zombie mode. Like, what are they trying to do here? Are they trying to be like Call of Duty? Because I mean, Call of Duty at the time was actually pretty good compared to Sandstorm, who we're talking about Modern Warfare 2019. Insurgency 2014 had a lot of unique game modes, and it was pretty prevalent when you just look at the freaking Wikipedia for it, like, just look at the amount of freaking game modes that this one had. And then you compare it to Insurgency Sandstorms, and it just pales in comparison. I remember there being a petition, or there was something like that, where hardcore fans of the series said that they would not buy the game until they added in Ambush, which apparently was a fan favorite. It's a game mode that basically has you escorting a VIP from one side to the other. I think the game mode's okay, but I don't, I don't know. I guess it's a fan favorite. But yeah, a lot of people were asking for it, and uh, now they just added into the game like how many years later? And now Sandstorm's player base is like popping off like crazy because now they're buying it. This is like the most players that I've actually seen in freaking Sandstorm in a while. The player base straight up doubled, so that's good. Hopefully with them not focusing too much on the console release version, they actually start freaking updating the game because for the most part, like all the updates that we've seen, like the major ones have really been just off optimizing the game so that it freaking runs better like honestly they should have waited at least two years to release this game because it's just been in optimization hell and because it was in optimization hell they focused more on that than actual content updates the content for the most part was pretty lackluster when it came to content like usually whenever they drop content it's like two or three months and then maybe like one map two guns a few attachments and possibly a game mode sometimes the map is rehashed from 2014 but yeah like to be honest it's kind of like lackluster stuff but hopefully now that the console and optimization is a lot better they can actually start dropping more banger updates you know like it'd be nice to see like monthly updates with like more game modes more guns with more attachments more than just one map more mechanics and features and all that kind of stuff stuff that'll just blow me away and i'll be like oh my god hop into insurgency sandstorm guys this game's lit like you console guys didn't have to deal with all the nonsense that we had to deal with like you guys are basically getting like a freaking brand new game with not a whole lot of issues okay well i don't want to speak too soon there maybe there might be a lot of issues for the console because with anything that that's new there's always gonna be a goddamn issue you know what I mean but yeah I definitely had issues with the Surgency Sandstorm in the past but at the moment the game is pretty solid not gonna lie especially with the ambush coming in and that's pretty much all I really got to say about that uh hell not loose I have a little less issues with there's a lot of things that kind of piss me off about it like I've been with the game since like the alpha and I've been wondering when they're gonna fix like specific things like the maps UI and the tanks the tanks feel very stiff and kind of hard to work with and they could definitely add more options to the squad leader role and commander role you know like i just feel like they haven't fixed those specific things like they keep adding in content which i think is cool but i would like them to fix certain things but i know that there's a lot of people who have issues with the game because it isn't exactly what they promised on their kickstarter like a lot of the stuff that they promised isn't in the game and i'm not really sure if it ever will be to be honest i don't remember what they promised to be honest because i didn't pay too close attention to it but i know that there's a lot of people that are really mad about that because i constantly get reminded that the game isn't exactly what they advertised 
on their Kickstarter. But I think the main reason why they dropped a lot of those promises was because it was just really hard to develop those specific mechanics. I mean, I'm sure they'll come in the future, but I guess we'll see. At the moment, it's a pretty solid game, so I'm not really complaining, to be honest. There's a lot for you to do and stuff. I just hope that they fix a couple of features that are currently in the game, you know? What's there is good. I wouldn't say that it's tactical, like, definitely the gameplay feels more arcadey, but that's, you know, that's okay. It's not a big deal for me, to be honest, because it actually does feel good, gameplay-wise. Yeah, these two games are pretty fun. You know, the interesting thing about this is that both of these games had to get out of early access in order for them to actually launch on console. And to be honest, I don't think either of them should have, because I still feel like there's a lot of things that still need to be fixed with these games. But I just hope that uh, them being released on console will actually allow them to focus more on the content that's going on in the game and fixing stuff that's in the game already. Again, despite all the issues that I have with these two games, I still recommend them because they're still pretty good. Like, you could definitely spend hours upon hours upon hours playing these games because, I mean, there's no other game like Hell Let Loose. And if you're someone that's tired of, like, Call of Duty, then you can switch over to Insurgency Sandstorm and have a different experience. Granted, they don't exactly have, you know, the game modes that made it great, but and I'm sure they're gonna drop them sooner or later. And for Hell Let Loose, I did see a whole lot of teasers for a bunch of different factions. Like, I think I actually saw something for the British at one point. Like, they were showing off, like, a Firefly in one of their updates one time. And I remember on the Kickstarter, they wanted to show off the freaking Japanese. I don't think we actually reached that goal, if I remember correctly. But, I mean, we didn't reach the Russian goal, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we didn't reach the Russian goal, because we got up to about $300,000, but the Russian forces was at $400,000. They added in the Russians relative fast, if I'm being honest. So who knows, they're probably gonna add in the other factions at some point. When the developers of Hell Let Loose aren't working on optimization, they're pretty Johnny on the spot with the freaking updates. They come out pretty fast, usually. At least that's how it was in the past when I used to follow it a lot more. They'd be dropping freaking massive updates, or at least, not playable updates, but like updates almost every other week or month i can't remember but i do remember them dropping a crap ton of updates so hopefully they can get back to that as soon as they're done with the whole console business and, uh, yeah i think that's where i'm gonna end the video so what are your guys' thoughts are you someone that's not even a console player like Dureg? what the hell did you make this video for have you gone mad are you mental maybe or are you a console player that's actually excited to see some tactical games finally come to the console let me know because i've had a lot of people always ask me Dureg, when is this gonna come to the console i remember back in the day when console was actually a priority with those types of games. You had the SOCOMs, the Rainbow Sixes. I think Swap 4 was on the original Xbox, right? Or maybe not. But I know that there was a lot of tactical games back in the day. I used to play a lot on the PS2, but I mean, recently, there just really hasn't been like an actual tactical game in a long while. So I mean, that's all I really got to say about that. So I'm gonna end it here. If you enjoyed the fact that I cover games like Insurgency Sandstorm and Hell Let Loose coming to console, then be sure to like up the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon or look at the join button that's just down below. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more of my content and anything that I post. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.